Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Um, yeah, as we're heading into the new trading week and it's just going to be a quick update um, towards the end of the day, well, or the start of the new day, really. We are um, indeed breaking to the upside. We saw it already in the last video that break above the descending trend line of this triangle pattern and then obviously a break above the D wave high, as I said, at around 63,240 would be a first indication that we are moving higher and the break above the B wave high at 63,000, what was it? Um, here 550 would be confirmation. And then we indeed reached the next Fibonacci level at 64,222. It's the 38.2 extension, We've, we made another high. So technically speaking, my forecast is already fulfilled in which I said I'm still leaning towards another high. I would change my view if the 57,130 level or 100 level is broken to the downside. Until then, I'm watching for another high. It's part of my main thesis here. And yeah, I mean, but it's, it's, it was, if this was everything, it was a very weak wave five but we formed another high. So technically the wave count I presented to you is valid. What I would prefer though, is actually another extension higher to the next FIB level, which is around um, 65K or even here 68K. So I still would like to see a little bit further upside to be honest, um, even though this target sort of, or let's say the wave count actually has worked out. However, it would, look better if this fifth wave was a little healthier and we would see a little bit further upside beyond um, the intraday high okay so but overall yeah it's looking good i mean as i said in the last video you know these triangles when they break they normally um break quite rapidly and quite swiftly and we normally see a bit of upside momentum this is yeah i wouldn't want to see anything less i mean this in the last video it wasn't really there the momentum we were just sort of consolidating here and now that we've started to see some momentum, but still when triangles break, it's normally a little bit more aggressive. So, um, but we'll see. I mean, Bitcoin obviously is a little exhausted. We are in that area um, just below all time highs. So just before breaking to new all time high territory. So it's obviously difficult for the price to push further higher, but it's looking good. Okay, so I think the next levels should be clear, obviously, resistance at 64,220, then here at around 64,900, actually 65,000, and then the 68K level. And the relevant short-term support level that can guide us higher. So what is the level that really needs to hold to keep going? Well, it would at the moment be the E-wave low, that is at 61,004, what is it, one second, 430, this swing low, the E wave low of the triangle. If we break down now, then I would have to assume that this was probably already all of wave five. I mean, the 38.2 extension level is technically the first target, but we talk a lot about ideal structures, of course, and I think I mentioned them. Micro support is very clear. And below that level, really the 57,100 level. Um, and I mean, okay, this could be a triangle and we could be breaking out. It's also technically possible that wave four is still unfolding. Then this was uh, some kind of an A wave down, a B wave, and we come down and see, but I don't really believe that. It just doesn't have the right look also, especially what would be here an A wave low it just doesn't have the right look. So therefore, um, I'm leaning towards this triangle. It broke to the upside. The count, micro count actually um, proved to be correct. And basically, if we now get a break below that E wave low, it could indicate that a more substantial top is in place. If that is the case, then I need to see a break below 57,100. And then to confirm it even further, a break below 50,000. 550 these swing lows here um for further confirmation okay because you know it, it always depends how much confirmation we need as a trader so a first break of micro support is not going to be sufficient evidence to suggest that really a larger pullback 
let's just open this, is unfolding, for example, here in wave four, the support region, uh, do I need to change it? No, it's pretty much unchanged. Support is still below or between 39,900 and 51,300. So that is sort of that wave four. But again, a break of the microstructure would not be enough to suggest that this is already wave four. There's a little bit more info necessary then. But yeah, what can I say? Not much more uh, to update. And also the update from the last video is being followed. So there isn't really much to update. But just be aware that um, we are, in my opinion, in a region where a top could be forming. But I haven't seen enough to say the top is in. In fact, I highlighted one more high would be likely that one more high happened. We're getting closer and closer to a top. Maybe we'll know more tomorrow. But please, please, that you know, the trend is up until we see a break below micro support and that hasn't happened yet. So that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.